My name is Chris. I, um, I hate that name. My, my sister thinks her name is worse, but, you know, that's Barry for you. Always a bit of a, always a, bit of a drama queen. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I'm a tall lady with ample bosom. Uh, at least that's what I tell Rob, my pen friend from Canada. Yeah, I can't wait to see his face when he comes over in June to marry me. <laughs> Says in his letters he has a good sense of humour. <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, so I'm a, re- I'm a wonderful person. I'm one of the nicest comedians in the world. I'm a nice person. I volunteer at my local library. Uh, it's mostly just shushing people. No, it's, uh, I also like to walk up to small children and bite them. Uh, not for any personal gain, just to drive home the important message of stranger danger. <laughs> yeah, kids need to know that. There are some weirdos out there. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's one of the services I do. I, uh, I, I, move in, I move to Sydney. I'm living in Sydney now. Um, I quite like Sydney. I, I, I think what I like is if I'm bored, I can just hop in my car and spend a whole afternoon driving around looking for somewhere to park. That's... <laughs> So much fun. You couldn't do that in Mackay. It didn't mean you'd pull out of your driver and go, oh, there's one there. It just wrecked the whole afternoon. But there are some weird things in Sydney. I was, uh, when I first moved there, uh, I was walking along a street. I saw a big sign that said, Simplicity Funerals. And out the front was like nine wheelie bins. <laughs> you can't get more simple than that, Sydney. <laughs> now... Granted, they were just display models, you know, but um, at least I know what the blue lids are for. Another weird thing, I'm not used to catching buses, but I was at a bus stop in Sydney and there was an old lady and I kicked her in the confusion, uh, right in the throat. Uh, But the thing is, the thing is, is I'm a big believer of karma, okay? So I don't know what it is she had done, but oh, it would have had to have been bad, right? I mean, that, (laughs) you know, that, that stuff doesn't happen to good people. So... So thank God I was there, <laughs> otherwise she may have got away with it. <laughs> I rented a house near an Aldi supermarket, I love Aldi. I don't do all my shopping there, just the everyday things, bread, milk, jet skis, <laughs> six pack of spear gun rubbers, a kilometre of cling wrap, that's always handy, isn't it? I did once buy a shopping trolley for $2, so they have bargains. <laughs> it, was like, it was like I couldn't make that cheaper. Uh, as usual, with an impulse buy, it just sits in your garage, doesn't it? Like people come over and open up the garage, go, that's my shopping trolley. If you, ever, if you ever want to use it, just come over and take it. I never use it. You think, <laughs> you think you're going to, but no. 